Morning News by Marilyn Hacker. Spring wafts up the smell of bus exhaust, of bread and fried potatoes, tips green on the branches, repeats old news, arrogance, ignorance, war. A cinder block wall shared by two houses is new rubble. On one side was a kitchen sink and a cupboard. On the other was a bed, a bookshelf, three frame photographs. Glass is shattered across the photographs. Two half circles of hardened pocket bread sit on the cupboard. That provisionally was shelter, a plastic truck under the branches of a fig tree. A knife flashed in the kitchen, merely dicing garlic. Engines of war move inexorably towards certain houses while citizens sit safe in other houses reading the newspaper, whose photographs make sanitized excuses for the war. There are innumerable kinds of bread brought up from the bakeries, baked in the kitchen. The date, the latitude, tell which one was dropped by a child beneath the bloodied branches. The uncontrolled and multi-furcate branches of possibility infiltrate houses' walls, window frames, ceilings. Where there was a tower, a town, ash and burnt wires, a graph on a distant computer screen. Elsewhere, a kitchen table setting gapes, where children bred to branch into new lives were called for war. Who wore this starch smock cotton dress? Who wore this jersey blazoned for the local branch of the district soccer team? Who left this black bread and this flat gold bread in their abandoned houses? Whose father begged for mercy in the kitchen? Whose memory will frame the photograph and use the memories for what it was never meant for by this girl, that old man, who was caught on a ball field near a window? War, exhorted through the grief, a photograph revives. Or was the team a covert branch of a bad group? Were maps drawn in the kitchen? A bomb thrust in a hollowed loaf of bread? What did the old men pray for in their houses of prayer? The teachers teach in schoolhouses between blackouts and blasts, when each word was flensed by new censure. Books exchanged for bread, both hostage to the happenstance of war. Sometimes the only schoolroom is a kitchen, outside the window. Black strokes on a graph of broken glass. Birds light up on bare branches. This letter curves. This one spreads its branches like friends holding hands outside their houses. Was the lesson stopped by gunfire? Was there panic? Silence? Does a torn photograph still gather children in the teacher's kitchen? Are they there meticulously learning wartime lessons with the signs for house, book, Bread?